Hi, this is Grace Pamela with Summerana.com, and this is a Summerana Sandwriter Brush and Action Collection Preview and Tutorial. So the first thing that you want to do is go up, go up to Windows and click Actions, and here we have our Summerana Sandwriter Action Collection, and I'm going to show you two different ways that you can do this. Here we have some dirt, and I'm going to go to Sandwriter Brush Applicator. You want to make sure you already have your brushes, your Sandwriter Brush selected and then press play. Press continue, press continue, and then you want to go over here and select the color of the dirt with your eyedropper tool there, and then press OK. And then you can go ahead and start writing. And then you can go to change sand writing perspective and lots of other um, sand writing editor tools here and you also want to make sure to double click this um, square right here and make sure that texture is selected if it is not make sure you select it and then click texture click here and then go down to clouds and then press OK make sure that the texture is selected um, otherwise it won't be the same sandy effect and then go you can go to change sand writing perspective press continue and you can drag the corners out, press the check mark, you can rotate it, you can adjust your sand writing size, you can scatter your sand writing, and you can dig a little deeper. That'll make it a little bit darker. If you don't want that, just um, click the eye here to hide it, and then delete it. And you can also lower the opacity of your sand writing. And you can also use the tools here that will make your workflow faster. And another one that I'm going to show you is the Sandwriter Text Applicator. And for this one, you have to select the text here, click to make your text, and you can write with whatever you'd like. I am going to show you an example of a dingbat. It's a lot of fun. I'm going to make my color black just for now, just so I can see what I'm doing here. Uh, there we go. We have a palm tree. Press the check mark, and I'm going to change the size here. I'm going to hold my shift key and drag the corners out. You can also click this link here, and that will do it for you too. It'll keep it in perspective for you. So I'm going to make my palm tree here. It's just an example. Press the check mark, double click so I can change the color back to my sand color. That's pretty good. Press OK. And there you have your webding. And then go up to Sandwriter Text Applicator. Make sure your text layer is actually clicked. And then press play. And this will tell you, it will remind you to do that. Press continue. Press continue. And there we have our sand here. I am going to go into my layer mask here. I'm just going to erase this right here because I just want the palm tree to show. There we go. Now I'm going to change the sand writing perspective. Make sure you actually have the layer clicked again. Press continue. And again, drag the corners out whichever way that you'd like. Now press the check mark. And you can do the same thing for any text or webding that you can um, that you want to use and it's very very simple it's a lot of fun and make sure also with the text that you double click this layer here and make sure that the texture is clicked and then also it will be set for you but make sure that you have the clouds selected and then press OK and that's all that there is to it and I hope you really enjoy the sand writer um, collection if you want to purchase it it is at summerana.com and I hope you have a wonderful day.